Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve these beach waves. Um, throughout the past couple of months, I've been asked over and over again to do a tutorial on how I do my hair. And um, to be completely honest, I only really learned how to curl my hair pretty recently. And this is a really easy, um, easy routine. It's just about having the right tools. So for me, I love the T3 Micro um, World Trio. <laughs> A mouthful but yeah the world trio um, I think that having the right curling iron makes all the difference because it really holds your curls and secondly for volume I think the right hair spray is everything I also really like curling my hair with second day hair um, and even on days when my hair is like even more dirty I use dry shampoo just to give it the, that extra oomph because I think the trick here is that you really need your hair to actually hold on to it so first day hair I find is a lot finer, so if you are going to do it on first day hair, maybe use some product to make it like a little thicker and grittier, um, if that is even a word. Um, so yeah, that being said, let's get started. So to start, you want to section out your hair. I have really thick hair, so I'm actually having to section it out into a bunch of different sections. Um, put up the part that you're not using yet, and I am using the T3 um, Micro World Trio, and the iron that I'm using, or the barrel, is the one inch um, wand. And the trick to getting a lot of volume when you're curling is curling one one strand like or one section one way and the other in the other direction so that's how you're really going to get the volume otherwise everything looks like it's just one curl and you don't want that on a different note i am really sorry about the lighting in this video i'm looking at it now and it looks like i haven't washed my hair in like a million years and that i've never washed my face ever but i promise my hair was just second day. I don't know why there's such a shine on it, but enjoy! When you're doing curling, make sure you just sort of run your hands through it. You really want to give it the loose look. Um, you don't want your curls to be too tight. And now moving on to the back, that's where I want the most volume. So I'm going to work on it in layers. So as opposed to doing it side by side, like sectioning it out side by side like I was, I'm sectioning it out um, layer by layer for the top so I get a lot of volume because that's what you really want on the crown of your head. So here's the secret to the beachy look. First of all, you really want to run your hands through your curls. You definitely don't want the tight curls. Um, that's just not beachy. You want it to be super loose. And um, you finish off with a straightening iron and just run it through the ends so that the ends are really straight and it looks sort of sun-kissed and salty and all that good stuff. For volume, you want to make sure you're using the right hairspray. So I love the L'Oreal Studio Pro. It's the yellow bottle. I've linked to it on my blog post. Um, you want to spray the roots as well as the um, actual hair so that they're like it obviously holds, but you also have some volume in your roots that way. 
And the last thing I really like to do is give myself a really deep side part because that again ensures that I have a ton of volume um, and it just looks a lot more effortless than having kind of a straight part.